So the stroller is all ready. And you're walking there because you guys are way too big to run there. Here we go. new soccer game or team. He's ready for soccer. He's not the only athlete in this family. <laughs> Go inside. He's got more stuff than he knows what to do with. Those are your shin guards, so those are gonna be to protect your legs. And then we got him some shoes and a soccer ball. He's excited yeah. for gymnastics and soccer to start. Well, I'd say it's a hit. We got some soccer cleats and shin guards. And he's got his new soccer ball and he's excited for soccer to start. <laughs> so he's ready to go. And then Summer, we gotta try on all your dance leotard and gymnastics stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so here's one of the leotards. Are you excited for ballet? Yeah. yeah, that's so pretty. And our second leotard. <laughs> wow, so pretty. It's going to be a busy year. Max is taking soccer and gymnastics, and then Summer's in gymnastics, and then tap and ballet. So between all the sports and school and just life and work, it is going to be a busy, busy year for us. So I did my long ride on Sunday, and it felt really, really good. The winds were extremely blustery. Um, there, were, The gust had to be at 30 miles an hour, and it was sustained, I would say, 20 to 25. So it was... It was um, it was quite tough in that fact, um, but it felt good. And my dad ended up finding me kind of out by the lake, so that's like my little over halfway mark. And we ended up riding home. And then I had about six to seven miles left, and I have to cross like this highway area. And I ended up just stopping like I always did. And it ended up that my chain had fell off, and I it like wasn't a big deal. It was like about ready to fall off, so I thought I could catch it as I started like getting the momentum back and get my chain to catch again, but it didn't and I ended up like falling. And it's like the worst thing in the world when you're like clipped in and you fall. Cause you're just like, I'm about ready to fall. And I did, I was like, ah, I'm gonna fall. And then I just like fell over and it was like fresh chip seal. So really like dense gravel that I fell on and nothing was bad. I got a few like scratches. And of course my th first thought was, how's the bike? <laughs> And the bike was okay, um, I was fine, but I woke up yesterday morning and my butt, hip area, hurt so bad. And I was just thinking, gosh, you know, maybe my seat's not where it's supposed to be since the bicycle shop moved in, you know, maybe, maybe I'm getting, you know, some sort of an injury there. Finally, I pie pieced it together after I had my coffee and I was like, oh that's probably from falling. So yeah, I noticed like the whole right side of my body where I fell, it hurt. <laughs> so it's feeling better today. I was supposed to go for a 13 mile run today, but it was raining all morning and I just didn't have the time with the kids to get it out. So I just did like a short workout downstairs to just kind of like some strength, strength training and elliptical, got that done. But tomorrow I am gonna go head out for a 13 mile run tomorrow. Good Wednesday morning. I am just all ready and gonna get ready for a long run today. I have 13 miles and I think I'm gonna take it down south um, out to the trails. So it'll be just more where I can zone out. Hi, Summer. <laughs> Kiddos are gonna be with dad, so gonna be a good 13 miles just to go out, relax. Kind of, sort of, <laughs> and get the 13 miles in. So I'll check in with you guys when I'm finished. Hello guys, I am back from my run. I did 13 miles and it felt good overall. Nothing like injury wise or didn't feel strong, just kind of felt average, um, maybe above average. My legs felt strong, so I feel like I'm making strides with that. So doing 13 miles is good and feeling strong still after it. I felt like I could easily go, you know, three, four or five more miles and before I felt even more fatigued. I was drenched and there was no thunderstorm this time. It was just, I think it's like 80% humidity and it's like 82 right now, which isn't very warm. It's kind of overcast, but it stormed yesterday, which was what kind of like postponed my run to today. And it is so humid. And in Kansas City, we at least 
have around like 20 mile an hour winds, like 15, 20 mile an hour winds is kind of like an average summer wind for us. There's no wind. So it's like stagnant, 80% humidity and just, I was soaked. So all my fluids were gone, all my nutrition was gone. So I, it was a good timing, like to plan for 13 miles, everything ran out around 12 miles. So I was like, okay, 13 is what it's gonna be today. So I felt good. I'm gonna go get some lunch. My daughter's practicing her ballet downstairs. Um, my son is hangry, so I'm gonna get him some lunch as well and then see what the rest of the day has for us. But I did get this little booger. Holy moly, I just noticed it. Well, good Thursday morning. I am headed out to the park for a hill training ride, probably around 50 miles. So it is already warm, it's humid, and we have an air quality warning. So, and on top of that, I feel eh, like I'm getting a cold or just allergies. So. I'm gonna go get this in and hopefully it all goes well. About three hours of hills. So you know it's gonna be a long training day when you have four water bottles. So two Gatorades, two waters, and then I've got already some nutrition on my bike and then some extra. And then go load up the back. So I had to get a rental car yesterday. So I'm in a Jeep and my bike is loaded up and all my equipment. And then hopefully I get my minivan Mommy, back in the next few days. All the seats out. I had to take the seats out so I could fit June in there. Time to go. What are you going to do while mommy's gone? Play with Buddy. Play with Buddy and watch some of your tablet. Yeah. Alright, I think I'm all ready to go. It's like that feeling if I have 50 miles. And I don't feel great. So <laughs> let's go get this in and quit complaining. Well, I finished up my ride and there's a unicorn on my bike. <laughs> my daughter. And all went well. Uh, 11 laps, which is, I think it calculated out to like 50, 51 miles. Um, it was quite a, I think like almost 3,000 feet of, no, almost 2,000 feet of an ascent. So. It was a hilly ride. I mean, it felt good. It was getting warm. I drank four water bottles. I had to stop up with my car and get the other two once I'd completely gone through them. Like my eighth lap, I had to stop, like grab some more nutrition and then two more water bottles because it was just so hot. But it felt good because I actually had some cold water to drink. Sometimes I'll just get at the water fountain there and it's really warm, so this felt good. Um, but everything felt well except my plica in my knee. Right in here. So Plica is, after I did Ironman Wisconsin, which was a very hilly course, I thought like my runner's knee was coming back, which was no big deal. I just thought, oh, I'll have to wear my brace, just ice it, kind of keep an eye on it. Ended up, I have Plica, I guess some people have it, some people don't. Um, it's like a fibrous band that's on the knee area there, and if it gets agitated and whatnot, um, it hurts, and it hurts really, really bad. Um, so much that after Ironman Wisconsin last year, my knee completely locked up in the hotel room after the race, and I like couldn't extend my leg, and so I thought I tore my meniscus during the race or something You know, was really wrong. Ended up going to an orthopedist, had an MRI done last year, and they said that I have plica in both knees. So literally I can rub my finger over it for like 10 seconds and it'll bother me all day. But it hasn't bothered me really since then, just a few flare ups, but today it bothered me. So I'll have to be careful with it. Um, be careful with like hill climbing if it comes back again, like my next hill ride next week, then I'll probably have to like start tapering the hills just so that I can get myself to Ironman Chattanooga because I made our countdown board for Ironman Chattanooga and we are 52 days away. So I'll show you. Ironman Chattanooga is 52 days away. I cannot believe it. It's gonna fly. Good Saturday morning, everyone. I am headed to the pool to go get a pool in, a pool in, <laughs> to go get a swim in. Um, it's a little bit later than what I would normally do for a swim since it's Saturday. So I like that I slept in about an hour longer than normal for a swim but they are um, going to be emptying the pool tomorrow and then it won't be filled back in for like 10 days because it's just normal routine maintenance. So I'm gonna go get this swim in and it'll probably be the last one till like the very end of August. So I'm gonna go get this swim in. Time to go swim. Time to swim. All 
All right, so my swim is all done. I did like 4,100 meters. It felt good, it, I felt strong. Um, and there was a, like, I was swimming with me, myself, and I for about 45 minutes, so it was kind of nice. I had the pool entirely to myself. And then a couple other like triathletes joined in. Um, but it felt good, and I'm gonna go home and eat some breakfast with my family. Sam said he was gonna cook breakfast, so fingers crossed that he actually does. <laughs> so I will check in with you guys later. Sunday morning. I am all ready to go for my long ride today. I've got all my nutrition out. I've got all my water out, my Gatorade out. I just got to put my phone on my bike and then obviously put all the nutrition and the water on the bike. And then I'll be set to go. I am planning on like around 75 miles. See where it takes me. Um, and then coming back and just doing like a 20, 30 minute run. So that's my plan for today. I hope it goes well. It's like 7.10 right now, so trying to get out fairly early so I can like beat most of the traffic for Sunday. And then um, also before the heat too, because it's already I think 75, so the wind's not supposed to be too bad today as well, so I'm excited. But I'm going to go get this training bike ride in and I will check in with you guys later. Well, I am all cleaned up and I did finish my ride. I ended up going 80 miles and it felt good near the end. It was it was tough because I went out with like a southwest wind and I thought, well, this is gonna be nice coming back. So I made it a little bit longer of a ride. And then on my way back, we're getting ready to have storms and the wind switched. So it was at my face the entire 80 miles. So it wasn't like a super strong wind, like we get 20, 30 mile an hour winds and that's like not odd for us, I guess, in Kansas City. But it was like a good 15 mile an hour, just like steady east wind. And when it's like an east wind, my dad always says it's like the beast of the east. The east wind is always so strong. It just feels like it's like coming at you from all different directions when it's from the east. So that made it a little bit more challenging than normal. So I did 80 miles and I did not make it a brick run and run afterwards, but I still felt really well. Like I still felt like I had a little bit left in the tank. Um, I did end up not going to a gas station to refill my water bottles because I thought, oh, I'm gonna make this a longer ride. Ended up, I went without water for like 45 minutes. So I was definitely dehydrated. So I just made the decision to not run afterwards because I was very hot, I was very tired. I felt like I was borderline dehydrated, probably was. Um, so I'm, I kind of cut it at the 80 miles, but it felt good. The bike went well. Um, I'm just glad to be home and get rested up and get something to eat. And then tomorrow will be a rest day, which I look forward to. So I hope you guys enjoyed following me along this week. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Um, we are 49 days out from Ironman Chattanooga. I had to look at my countdown. So 49 days out from Ironman Chattanooga. So I will be posting more and more videos and then obviously race day videos and all that fun stuff. So I hope to see you guys next week and I will keep you guys up to date on my training for Ironman Chattanooga. Have a great week guys. Bye.